Hello there kitties. I'm Kari. The vacuum tube wedge. And I've got a little repair of a household appliance that uh, has a problem with uh, not enough uh, power delivered to the working part. Uh, let's see if I can uh, fix this device because uh, that would be quite useful for my customer of course. And, uh, and this is gonna be the first one of those videos. You know, one of those videos. <laughs> if you watched Friend Blanche then you will know what I'm talking about. And uh, surprisingly, this one is not gonna be about the transgender stuff or anything that could be remotely political. It's, it's gonna be about YouTube and uh, how YouTube treats the creators because uh, it has been widely known that, uh, that this is uh, not very good the way uh, YouTube uh, treats uh, the creators. Press the button to release it, I guess. And uh, this might... Uh, there is a full power going through here. This is fine. Anyway... Uh, mm. I've seen, uh, I've seen uh, Louis Rossman talking about uh, how YouTube uh, treats creators. I've seen uh, Dave Jones of uh, EV Blog talking about it. I've seen Fran talking about it, I think. But uh, but they have been uh, around for a long, long, long time, and uh, and their channels have. Uh, reached uh, many thousands or, or even over a, a million of subscribers and I'm very new to YouTube and uh, and making videos and uh, and you know sharing my my work my content I only recently reached uh, 100 subscribers it was in the night of from uh, Saturday to Sunday and uh, there is one thing uh, that you can uh, choose a custom URL for your channel after you fulfill four conditions. Uh, first one is that uh, your channel is uh, at least one month old in my case, uh, it's uh, it's a few months now, so uh, no problem. Second, that you have uh, uploaded uh, a profile picture. I have. Third one is that you have uploaded uh, a banner picture. I also have done it uh, quite long ago. And fourth one is that uh, you have uh, at least 100 subscribers that I reached uh, that night and uh, and I was so damn happy to finally have uh, achieved that that goal and uh, it's all thanks to you my viewers who have subscribed to my channel and I'm very grateful to you all both big and uh, and small Still, uh, the problem is that uh, even though uh, I've got uh, more than 100 now, uh, it uh, didn't change anything. Like uh, YouTube uh, seems not to consider me eligible for a custom URL. And that is very weird because uh, I thought that uh, yeah I need to use a slotted screwdriver here and probably 
unscrew that part. Anyway, uh, YouTube uh, doesn't seem to consider me eligible for choosing the URL yet, even though I have uh, fulfilled uh, all the conditions, so uh, theoretically I should be able to do it, but uh, apparently I am not. And, uh, well, that holds me back uh, a little bit because uh, I'd like to promote my channel with the proper URL and uh, seems to me that uh, I have to wait longer and longer. I would like to update and open my Patreon page so that you could uh, support me financially, if you will, because uh, I'm, let's be honest here, I'm broke as shit, doing electronics in Poland, with no proper mic even. I hope that uh, I'll make some cash doing repairs uh, and uh, be able to for the condenser mic, but uh, it still didn't happen. I was looking for second-hand ones because uh, I just can't afford uh, a brand new one. I will have to go with second-hand. But still, YouTube seems to Black me, and I'm. Uh, let's be honest. I'm. Uh, I'm disappointed with that. Uh, I was expecting to be treated a bit better. That uh, if uh, if that was all made uh, automatically, because I can't see any other way that. Uh, that it could be done all by hand with a platform that large. <laughs> Maybe back 10 years ago it's, it might have been, but... But I'm absolutely sure that uh, it's not the case anymore. It's all automatic. And yes, I'm I'm quite disappointed. Don't get me wrong. I was uh, I was hoping much better, but nah. Anyway, how do I take this one off? Hm. I think that I noticed what's the what's wrong with this because uh, this little this little spline it looks like it didn't engage uh, fully with uh, with the part that is uh, found in here and uh, if you take a closer look at uh, at here you can see that uh, the part is completely worn, damaged, and uh, that's why the device doesn't want to transmit power. <sighs> the only thing I can think of... Uh, that was pretty nice. The only thing I can think of... Uh, doing in this situation it would be great to replace this all together I wonder if I can use some heat shrink tubing and uh, I also wonder if I can 
unscrew this part and attach it uh, reversely. There seems to be thread here. And this is uh, a left hand thread if you take a closer look. So that I should be able to unscrew this part. And here it goes. There it is, the left hand thread. Looks like uh, it doesn't really want to. Looks like I won't be able to repair it uh, like I wanted to because it's uh, not symmetrical. So it would be either making a thread print of. Uh, of this part or I just try to repair it with heat shrink tube because uh, I don't think that uh, any spare parts are available for this machine I can't even leave it uh, unscrewed uh, just a bit uh, using some shim under under the thread. So maybe it's going to be one of those repairs that I can't do anything about. I'll try to use some HST. Double layer should be enough. Let's give it some some warm treatment, some warmth and love. And then let's give it some surgical precision because uh, cutting off the excess that was not surgical I don't want my bottom surgery to look like this Maybe I should try casting something uh, 
in order to connect those parts. Anyway, it's not the problem with the transmission or the motor inside. It's uh, clearly the problem with, uh, with the clutch. And uh, it would be best to replace both sides of the clutch, both this one and this one. And uh, the brand name Chef for You, it's very dodgy if you ask me. I, uh, I don't think that, uh, well, if it was like Electrolux or a Whirlpool or something like that, then you would probably be able to find the replacement parts somewhere. But uh, with a name like this, uh, it just screams Chinesium. And uh, you'll have a hard time finding any spare parts, unfortunately. And uh, after it's damaged, it's done for. It's done for and uh, throw it out, buy a new one. Meh. Or find someone creative to do the repair. Though I'm not very sure about the reliability of uh, of uh, this um, hack that I've done here. Should have one more screw somewhere here, somewhere here. Maybe I should also add one more layer of the heat shrink tube, or maybe not. Now it looks like it engages way better than you used to. Let's see, let's check if it, uh, if it engages now. And maybe just to be sure I'll add one more layer of uh, heat shrink because uh, I don't like uh, how, how lightly this uh, engages with uh, with the clutch. Cut it off. Some warm. Shrinking, shrinking.
and put it back together and see if, if it engages. Seems like that. And let's test it. I'm not sure if I should run it dry, but uh, Yeah, it looks like it's working, but uh, I'm not very satisfied with uh, with this repair. I might have to tell her that uh, that this mixer is uh, is just dying. Okay, time to call it a day now. Call it a video. <coughs> that was scary. The vacuum tube word. Complaining about YouTube for the first but not the last time, I think. Signing off and saying bye. Keep up the good work, people. Thank you all for this. Bye.